I have a really big head. Like what not in a conceited way. <laughs> <laughs> like I just have like, like I was like, yeah, you do. And I'm like, no, not in a conceited way. You're like, oh, oh. I'm gonna have to sit like this. See ya. Yeah, Christiana. Yeah. All wrong. <laughs> Can I do Featuring it? Featuring <laughs> Lucas Machado. Wait, how do you say your last name? You said it right. I did. Machado. You're uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> 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 so weird. Okay, anyways, welcome. Okay, so this is episode number three. <laughs> Lady. Okay, Lucas. So, background info on Lucas. Lucas is not only a model, but an actor as well. And just a cool person. Oh, Chrissy. And? Just and, um, my best friend. So, Aww, welcome! <laughs> Yeehaw! Howdy! Yeehaw. How did you get into modeling? So, at the time, I was going to ASU, Code Devils, and this photographer added me on Facebook, and I was going to school for journalism, like I didn't really want anything to do with modeling, like I guess it just never really crossed my mind. And he messaged me and he was like, hey, like you have a really cool look, like I got like new equipment, like I'm a photographer, like how would you feel about- Doing a test shoot, Yeah, basically. like basically doing a test shoot. And I was so weirded out, I was like, what? I was like, why is some random man like sliding in my D, like not DMs, my Facebook messages. And so I like checked out his work and he was actually like pretty good so I was like well like this could be an experience so one of my friends from ASU went with me and he took photos and he put them on Facebook and like a local agency in Arizona ended up seeing it and so then they messaged me and then I went in and I met with them and then I signed and ta-da why did you decide to model like why what was the deciding factor well I guess I had like I'd never really done anything like it before and after that shoot I just remember seeing the pictures and being like, whoa, like this is actually so cool. And just like seeing the final result. Cause I remember like my very first shoot and just being there and taking the pictures, I didn't think that the result of it would be so cool, but I ended up really liking it. And like, I feel like the fact that like somebody had reached out to me, like it, it was just like, everything was really exciting. And yeah. like, I feel like it's like the most unexpected things that are just like the coolest. So I was like, maybe I should like actually take this opportunity and see where take it, it goes. Seriously? I was like, if it doesn't go anywhere, I can just go back to school and stay yeah. here. Like it wouldn't have hurt. I was like 20, okay. said I'm 25 now. And this is like when Instagram like wasn't huge, right? No, Instagram was not like a thing at all. So you were doing this purely because you like enjoyed no, it I, for the art. You weren't like, no. oh, I'm gonna do this because oh I'm gonna gosh. gain a lot of followers. No, that like is such like a weird concept. Like thinking back, because it's so big now, like, and how it affects my job today. Like I would have never thought that five years ago. It's not necessarily what I signed up for. Yeah. Like I did it because I was like, this is cool and like artistic and like. Do you think it was less competitive when you first started than it is now? 100%, 100%. Wow. I mean, the first like year, year and a half, I was just like developing. So like they were just building my book. Like I wasn't signed with anybody out here in LA yet. Cause they were just trying to like get material yeah. to show to agencies. So the first year and a half was just super chill of me just like shooting with different photographers and like getting different things for my book. So yeah, it didn't really start going until I moved. Moved from Arizona to LA. Yeah. <clears throat> but I just remember it being, it was more, it was chill too. Like there was no like Instagram. It was simply you go in, talk to them. They take your picture. Like you try on clothes and like that was it. Yeah. Now it's all about social media, like your numbers, like your activity, like even on my comp card like that you have, like we're like promoted like with our Instagram oh, labels at the bottom. Check it out. Wow. So those are like the kind of things that have been changing. Like I was never promoted through my Instagram or like through. It was based off your look. And yeah. That was and that was it. Yeah, and like I... your vibe, like the vibe for the brand. Now I feel like a lot of brands will almost book models just because of their following. Like not necessarily like, oh, like our brand is like edgy and like we want a guy like this. So I'm like, this is the edgiest guy. Let's pick him. Now it's like, oh, he has the numbers and it's going to get our brand up. So let's pick this guy, even though this guy has more of the look that the brand wants. It's hard to not compare yourself to other people, especially like in this industry. I heard sometimes agencies will like control what you post kind of. Oh, a hundred percent. I mean, clearly I think they're just trying to like protect your image more than just being like, you can't do, or like yeah. parenting you. Yeah, but yeah. there is agencies that have been like, you need to hit this amount of followers by the end of the Which month. Which is insane, because it's like, how how am I supposed to do that? Like, I know you don't have this problem, but some models have to like watch their weight and be like really strict on their yeah. diet and then like work out every day. And like, we're constantly told we're not good enough in this constantly. industry. And like, I don't think people understand that. Like, the only validation we truly get is through Instagram, in my opinion. No, 100%. I feel like people really only see, they see like, 
they'll see you up on a billboard or like in front of a store or something, and they'll be like, oh my gosh, like that's so cool, like it must be so glamorous, like blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But I feel like people don't know like what really goes into it. And like, we go on hundreds of castings, like multiple castings per day, like we get rejected like a lot. Like really they only see the final product and like even though like we're working, I feel like there's always this need of like you wanting to be better. Yeah. You know? Exactly. So like even like if you're on hold for like a huge job and then you don't get it, I'm like, well should I like really be doing this? Yeah, exactly. When in fact my agents are like, No, like that's like incredible that you were even like on hold for Yeah, that. even like considered, yep. So it's nice to have like good family and good friends and like good agents. That's that, like, what's push so you important. You have to surround yourself with people that push you. If you weren't doing this, what would you, what would you be doing? I think it'd be really cool to go into casting, like casting director. Or like yeah, that's what I want to do. To go on the other side. Have you ever had like a really traumatic like experience being a model? It goes back to what I was saying of like being like knowing who I was as a person because what will work here in LA won't work in New York. So like yeah. I remember when I was signed with like my old agency in New York, I would get told that I was skinny fat. They were like, you're skinny, but like you're like fat, like you're skinny fat. And I was like, what does that even mean? Like, and then here in LA, they're like, oh, well, like we would like you to gain like two inches like on your way. So it's like, I can't please New York and LA because they're telling me to do two Different total things. opposite things. And like, second of all, like I'm not gonna change who I am. Like you can book me or not. Like um, recently I have had this huge high fashion company from Europe reach out to my agents and they were like, we really, really love Lucas, like, blah, 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 like, can you option him for these days? Like, my agents were so excited, like, I was so stoked. Um, again, an op it was just an option, it was never really confirmed, but just the fact that, like, that specific casting director was, like, huge. Yeah, and wanted to see And that you. brand, like, it's personally one of the brands I've always wanted to work for, because I've always thought their campaigns were amazing. Um, so I was super excited, so I had to go in for, like, a fitting. It was, like, a fit to confirm, so basically you go in and you try on the clothes and if they like you, they like you. Like if it fits well, they, whatever. So I went in, it was downtown. They had um, like the actual designer from there had flew down from I think Paris from a lot or something. Wow. So I went in, made me wait for two, three hours in this room and I was waiting, they were taking forever. They finally, there, there was like two other people in front of me. And so there's another guy and another girl and so the girl goes in after probably a minute tops, comes back out looking so confused. And I was like, what happened? And she was like, I literally just went in and they just looked at me and like, were like asking me questions. And like, then I just left. I was like, well, did you try anything on? And she was like, no. And I was like, okay. So next I go in and at this point I'm just like so confused. I walk into the room, huge long table, like probably 10 to 15 people sitting there. And they're all just like staring at you. And they were like, hey, like, what's your name? And I was like, oh, like, I'm Lucas. Here's my comp card. And he asked me like two questions. Like, oh, like, like, where are you from? Blah, blah, blah. But I could just tell that they weren't, they didn't care what my answers were. Like, I could just feel 15 eyes on me, like analyzing my every move. And finally he was like, okay, like face this way. I would, I face like with my profile and they were all were just staring at me, taking notes. They're like face the other way, taking notes. Okay, thank you. You walk out, but that was like a really like weird experience. Especially for it being a brand I've always wanted to work for. I was just like, you know, like You're bummed. Yeah, like I was like, I don't want to work for people like this. And see, like you see on Instagram the campaigns and you're like, I would yeah. love to do that. It was like so much fun. Yeah. And you do it and you're just like, okay, yeah. never mind then. So you also act. Yes. So I started through just doing print work at first. It was an agency that handles like TV and they all they like they have TV commercials and then like they had a modeling division so when i started doing um like modeling jobs after i had done a few they were like oh like we think you'd be perfect for like tv commercials and so i was like oh, okay so i signed with them for commercials and then i did two or three before i signed on for tv stuff like recently so tell me one good experience that's made you want to stay in the industry honestly i think the traveling aspect of it is so fun like i've been to i've been able to go to new york um Hong like Kong. San Francisco, I went abroad, I went to Asia for three months and like it was insane because if I wasn't modeling like I would have never seen like I would have never personally been like yeah. oh let me go to Asia you know yeah but it was such a good experience like I got to meet so many cool people and like see so many places like um so yeah that would be it and like I think building my book like abroad and just getting pictures from like I don't know just doing all these cool different projects that I wouldn't have done if I was here. Who have been some people that like have really 
inspired you and kept you going throughout this whole journey? My family, like my mom's always been like, like go after your dreams and she's like always just like just keep going like keep going it's just a mix of my friends like having supportive friends like feel like we all kind of like keep each other updated yeah, like we when do. we're put on options for like cool things we're like oh my gosh like yeah we just get so excited for each other and then also having like good agents like that's so important like i love my agents so much like i've had experiences with other agents that haven't been positive but i genuinely feel like having agents that care about you like as a person is like super important mm -hmm. Because I feel like if you don't have supportive agents, like, why are you even with them? Last question. Okay. Um, what's some advice you give to, like, people that are really young that are really wanting to be models? A, a question I get a lot is, like, how much, like, do you have to pay to, like... Yeah. Like, and I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, I've heard of so many people going to conventions and they pay thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to be seen by agents. So my one advice is, one, know who you are as a person before joining. Like, that's, like, the most important thing. Because if you don't, I would wait it out until you're like Confident. really emotionally like there and once you are there i would say to just go on like if you even go on models.com there's like different agencies in each cities and you can just go on there and send your pictures through the website like there's no reason for anybody to be spending thousands of dollars because i feel like a lot of people just don't know how to start yeah. you know and they feel like they have to pay so much money which is not a thing don't get scammed kids don't get scammed <laughs> 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 wrap this up ladies and gentlemen <laughs> and you have no more tea to sip <laughs> thank you so much lucas yes. comment down below like who you'd want to see me interview and some questions for the next person i interview thanks for watching you can subscribe if you want you don't have to Do peace out deuces <laughs> <I'm just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs>